so okay guys today i'm gonna tell you like how you can use firebase uh, uh, database like i have seen a bunch of tutorials on uh, youtube but they were mostly all about like real time database of firebase not the firestore database like it's called firestore database like not the real time database it's different real time database so original database is the firestore so yeah i will uh, let you know how you can do it with python so let's just sign in and just first create a database so yeah so just and you can just uh, i haven't told you let me just go to firebase.google.com and do sign in and this is just a minute work so you can skip after that like onto the python code only yeah a or It's actually I'm telling with uh, like before because like like who is someone is who like know how to do all this stuff so yeah like I am here now I'll just go to console yes yeah create project you just have to enter your project name and I'll, I'll name it test I accept continue uh, yeah like it's analytics part like you can just see after like here you can choose your country and all like I have let it be default only for the time create project now the project is being created and it just hardly takes five or mm, sorry one or two minutes In the time let me tell you you have to also install a library called uh pip install firebase admin you have to install this library yeah firebase admin i have already installed it so yeah it will show me like requirement already satisfied okay project has been created let's just continue the requirement already satisfied and requirement already because i have already created uh, sorry installed it why is in typing yeah like on command command form it's my cmd like i have uh, picked in under the like sublime text only so yeah like here is the your project now just go to develop like uh, mostly people tell you like real time database but it's not a real database it's a real time database the normal database is like cloud fire store you have to use that only like click click on there and create database and you can do what like in production mode in test mode like whatever you feel like like let it be default in production mode next and this is the uh, storage area like they have uh, like cloud where they all your data will be safe so you can just choose wherever you want so let it be default only like our data is being created in the cloud <laughs> basically it's not cloud it's just someone else's computer setting up security rules yeah okay see uh, database has been created now you have to do like one more thing you have to go to project setting and service accounts and click on python and generate new private key see this key should be private because uh, i mean with the help of this key anyone can uh, do like uh, anyone can contact or create a connection with your database so uh, make this key a private or confidential only now here is my key uh, where it's safe 
yeah it's like it's in a json format let me copy it and save in the new folder yeah like here is my firebase firestore uh, python file which is like uh, where i will write the python code and here the json let me delete these two files it will like confusing yeah so like here i will write all my codes and here is the file uh, here is the uh, json file both in the same directory now we'll just do import firebase admin then we'll from firebase admin import credentials credentials is like for matching that file we have just downloaded the json file and from firebase admin import like firestore the uh, database we are going to use firestore so yeah now we'll just create a variable called cred and we do credentials dot like here we'll just uh, and here we'll just uh, copy the file name where whatever the file name is like this is the file name we'll just copy it and just paste it here so it can just it will automatically contact your database now uh, now your database uh, connection is done so you don't have to like do any other thing now let's get started no i mean like once the connection is done you uh yeah you have to like uh, initialize it also firebase underscore admin dot yeah initialize underscore app like we are initializing this cred uh, whatever the credential is save in the cred and now we'll just make a client of our firebase we'll like db equals to firestore dot client yeah so now the connection has been made now see uh, now everything is being done now you don't have to do anything see uh, let me see there are no collection here okay now let me just initiate a connection like we'll say doc equals to db like db is uh db is our database name you can say or database uh, uh, like whatever you can say it will just uh, do whatever stuff we have to do we have to do in db because db will uh, db is our database you can just say that in simple words db dot no we'll do collection to create a collection we'll just like collection and collection name collection whatever name you want to give and we we'll just save it and run it like python firebase underscore fires two dot py yeah It's running yeah so let's just check it and refresh it oh why then collection been made I went through you don't call it sorry I think what i know uh, till now like if you don't have anything in your collection it, your collection won't be shown so let's just put some data in collection so we'll say uh, we'll just save a document we'll just say dot document and document name doc document i think you already know like how does uh, this thing works like no sql database firestore is a no sql database okay now let's just see it hopefully this time it will show up yeah 
Seriously, why it isn't showing up? Hey, let me just dog dot set. name whatever I don't know what happened like yeah see I'm really sorry actually you have also uh, uh, save something in document on also then only it will show in the document like uh, on your database see collection name then your document name then your key value pair so like uh, uh, this is how this thing works now i think you have got an idea how this thing works now if you want to like create another database you just have to do this only like it will create another database let me just copy this line again no no just me like just like name two okay and document name like let it be document name and it may like uh, it will be two okay now just run it now it will create a doc, uh, collection name two and just create a document name inside it i think it's done let me just refresh it see are the collection name two then document See if you like uh, just uh, write db dot collection name to or whatever document name or collection name you write. If the collection name is present, so it will just uh, use that collection name or it will create a collection name. Or same with the document. If the document is present, it will use that document or it will like uh, uh, create that document. And suppose you have multiple documents. Now let me create document two and just yeah yeah let me just create document two and I save it now my collection name two is it will use collection name two and it will create document name two also inside that let me just refresh it okay it's already in there sorry it just got updated very fast I don't know how it's there so fast see it's it has two documents so now I want to like uh, get the data so i will just do i will just like uh, like this i will do and like this dot get dot two underscore di dtd now this will just go and fetch the data i think it's too big yeah now what i have done i have uh, written the same line like how you create a document and collection like here i have collection then i have written document name then i have told okay get that and change it to dictionary now if i print it it will print name and two in a dictionary format see name and two like it, it has gone there and just printed name and two so yeah this basically works like this only and you have to uh, do like other stuff also you can just like uh, you can just go to their documents they have uh, beautifully shown their documents let me just google it fires base python yeah you can just go yeah they have beautifully explained like how you can do uh, stuff on their website Oh, sorry on their database it's the it's not the one that is really easy let me just another one sorry fire let me let fire store yeah just write no 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 this is not the one yeah this is one 
just try it like uh, what I have written Firestore Python and open the first website and you will see like uh, just come here initialize cloud Firestore from here just click on Python and they have explained like what I have done import Firebase admin like credentials and this this and like initialize you add data like how you can add data like what I have told you like dot set will add your data like here dot set document dot set will add the data and now add users yeah basically it's all it and read data uh, you can just go here and take a look like it's really easy and you can just watch the tutorial short so like i have told you how this thing was so it will be really easy so yeah that's all stuff so thank you for watching